I had a remarkable and never to be forgotten lesson in how to work, one evening on a streetcar, in Brussels. Returning home to the outskirts of the city from the business section, I boarded a tram. I only rode on it 15 or 20 minutes and that was many, many years ago. But the conductor on it, taught me more about how to work than any other human being ever has. He seemed to feel that he owned the streetcar, that it was just as if someone entered his home when they got on it, that every person in it was his responsibility, that he was their host. He was entirely unconscious of this. He had just, somehow, put himself into his work. The duties of a streetcar conductor are strictly confined in nature, he has to sell tickets and give change and see the company is not cheated, added to this, in the Brussels of that day. He had to make the life of everyone miserable by blowing a horrible little brass horn as a signal to the driver to move on to the next stop. But this man, perhaps he had never been made aware that all that was required of him was to finger dirty money and blow his horn, helped old men and women and children on and off the car, he handed their bundles to them, he held the baby till the mother got off, he walked up the car, like a man in his drawing room, and seated some tired person comfortably or invited others to make a little space for a woman, he answered, almost eagerly, and certainly politely, questions asked of him, he told people their stops, who had requested him to do so, he smiled, he looked at you with an expression as much as to say, so you're here, I wonder what I can do for you, it was like a miracle, I could not help wondering what this world would be like if all people did their jobs this way. Instead of being sour, resentful or indifferent, instead of taking the attitude, this is the way I earn my living, it has nothing at all to do with me, I'm here to punch the tickets and give the signals and that is all I intend to do. Instead of being coldly impersonal to every human being around him, as most of us are all day long, he was considerate, courteous, helpful. What is much more important, I am sure he was happy. Putting all he had into such a very unpromising job, he got a rich return of contentment, it was written on his face, a plain, tired, ordinary face but with an expression of almost luminous happiness. He had found the secret of work, which is service, the golden talisman that changes drudgery into pleasure and fatigue into contentment and boredom into interest. Can anyone say his efforts were wasted, that he was foolish? I was one of that man's passengers, yet I shall never forget him as long as I live. One person can do so much. It is worth wondering about, if we all tried, what the world would become. To give out is to receive. It is a mysterious process, but the more you expend of the finer substances of your character the more they seem to grow and multiply within you.